Emergency rescue teams need to get to the scene of an accident quickly. And there are lots of different ways they can get there to help you. We're going on call with the UK's emergency services, heading into the thick of the action to help save lives. Now it's Zahn's turn on the front line. I'm giving you exclusive access to a top medical team. Every year they respond to almost a million medical emergencies. I'm heading out in this state-of-the-art rapid response vehicle to show you more about the life-saving work these paramedics do. I'm going on call. This is the West Midlands Ambulance Service. They've got more than 800 vehicles on the road ready to come to your rescue. On call with me today is paramedic Jan Van. We're in the car ready to go and a new call has just come in. All we've got at the moment is an address, nothing else. This service takes thousands of 999 calls and they send information about the patient to us and update us via the radio as we're on our way. So giving a bit more information now at someone who's fallen on the floor and they've hurt their arm. When we get there, I'll be filming on my camera too, so you can get right to the heart of the action. Three and a half minutes from the call, and we're there. As we get into the house, I can see Frank with his daughter. He's sitting on the living room floor, unable to move. Frank, do you know why you fell this morning? What were you trying to do? That's the, that, that into the wheelchair. OK. And I tried to get onto that chair there. How long have you been sitting on the ground for? Uh, since 7 o'clock this morning. Oh. That's six and a half hours. Frank is a patient Jan has met before, and he has quite a few existing health problems. Got to figure out why he fell. Does he have an infection? Is his blood oh, sugar low? Did he have a stroke? Jan begins a thorough examination to figure out why Frank might have fallen, doing a manoeuvre he does every day from his armchair to his wheelchair. You sound a bit chesty when you're breathing. You've been feeling unwell recently. I can't shake off a cold I've had for a few weeks. OK. I think he's got probably a touch of cellulitis coming on. Yeah. I think your leg's getting infected again. So what started off as a very simple fall out of a chair becomes more and more complicated as we've again. spoken to Frank. He's got diabetes, he's got a high temperature, his chest sounds a bit bad, he's got some infected skin on his leg. We'll get you comfy. With so many health concerns, we need to get Frank to hospital. And to do that, the ambulance team have arrived with a nifty gadget to move Frank quickly and safely. What we've got here is a really cool bit of kit, some kind of inflatable cushion that's going to lift Frank up. With the aid of this inflating cushion, Frank is off the ground in just a couple of minutes. So that's Frank on his way to hospital. Paramedics like Jan are skilled not just at looking at the immediate problem, but also investigating thoroughly to see what might have caused the situation to happen so that patients can get the right care. He's normally at home, self-caring, looks after himself, transfers every day from his chair to his wheelchair. But today, because of his temperature, he hasn't got the strength or the energy to do that by himself. That's why he's fallen. Because we were there within three and a half minutes of the 999 call, now Frank can get the treatment he needs in hospital. With rapid response teams like this on standby all over the UK, it means that expert care can be with you within minutes of an Ouch. The team from Accident and Emergency is ready for our first patient. Let's meet him. At Sheffield Children's Hospital, four-year-old Max has come in with a peculiarly puffy face. I fell down and it hurt my cheek. Yeah, you did. So where were you? In the living room on the, on the wooden floor, on the, near the wooden table. You wouldn't believe it, would you, Zand? Hmm. So, how on earth did this happen? Well, a couple of days ago, Max was at home watching his favourite monster film on TV. Oh, I love a good monster film. Me too. Anyway, Max was really getting into the film, running about like the monsters. When all of a sudden, he tripped. He flew through the air and landed with a bump on the wooden floor cutting his cheek on the wooden table. Ow! Yes, and it didn't stop there. Over the next couple of days, Max's face swelled up, causing his left eye to start closing. Ouch! So, his mum and nan have brought him straight to hospital. His face is very swollen and red. Enter Dr. Oladeo Oladipo. 
he'll check out our monster-loving friend. Hello, Max. How are you? I'm on the bad. Good. I'm going to examine you now. Is that all right? Mm. OK. The doctor needs to give Max a thorough examination and make sure he hasn't broken any of his facial bones. And there's a bit of swelling around that area. It looks like it's infected mm -hmm. and is going around the, the face, OK? Me. Max has an infection of his skin called cellulitis. It happens when your skin is broken by a cut or insect bite and bacteria get in. Sometimes the infection stays near the surface, but sometimes the bacteria infect the deeper layer, like with Max, causing the whole area to go red and swell up. And this is cellulitis. Because Max has cellulitis around his eye, it could cause bigger problems if it continues to spread. With the spread of the infection, the chance that his brain function will be affected, his sight will be affected, his breathing could also be affected. So we need to control that infection quite quickly. To do this, Max is being given antibiotics straight into the veins through the back of his hand. And this way, the medicine works much faster than swallowing tablets. He'll have to stay in hospital until the medicine starts to work, but he doesn't look too unhappy about it. We'll be back later to see how he's getting on.